everyone welcome back to another video so today i am doing my mum's nails um these ones that i'm just removing now are on my channel um i record my mum's nails every time especially when we're in a lockdown because they're the only client nails i actually get to record so i'm just removing the th well not removing but i'm removing the bulk with my green smoothie bit from willow academy um i did a video on my own nails with prep not very long ago literally probably it was only uploaded a couple of days before this one will be so i've not included the prep within this video but i've just done it as a time lapse just to get it over with my mom is really really hard on her nails um she works in a warehouse and if there's a little slight bit of lifting or chipping she just bites them off no matter how many times i tell her to stop it <laughs> so yeah i wonder if anyone else has got any naughty family members let me know in the comments if you have clients like that or if you have family members that are the same so i did end up cutting this one a little bit too long and i did shorten it off camera but i just thought you know what i'm just showing you my filing technique and like shaping and stuff so i could still do that on a long nail that's too long and then i'll just sort it out afterwards so once i've stuck those tips on and filed them to shape i'm then going to go in with my acrylic application um i'm just popping down a really really thin clear layer on all of the nails first just to make sure that when it comes to the next design that she wants because we're going to be applying acrylic colors again this time so when it comes to the next time it won't be an issue so here she has got a slight bruise on her nail there's no pain and it's not an open wound so i was able to go in with acrylic on top obviously when i do her nails next time we'll be filing back to this clear layer anyway so i will be able to see the progress of that little bruise next time to make sure there's nothing going on under there that shouldn't be so here i'm just finishing off the clear overlay quickly and then we're going to be going in with blush which is a beautiful pink from tia's beauty it's absolutely beautiful to work with super super easy as you can see just popping a real quick wash of that down this time because we're going to be putting a pre mixed glitter over the top this is called sweet pea i think i might have said that wrong it might be sweet cheeks I'm almost certain that it's Sweet Pea, but it might be Sweet Cheeks. So if you look for it on the website and it's not called Sweet Pea, it's called Sweet Cheeks and vice versa. So that one, we're just doing a full glitter nail. So I've just left that as it is. And then obviously we'll come back to cap at the end once I've finished the other four nails. So this one is going to have, as you can see from the thumbnail, it's going to have foil on top. Um, well, it's going to have flowers on. So I wanted like a few specks of glitter underneath because the foil that i'm using has got clear um as the back in like there's the roses i think they're roses i can't remember now there's the flowers and then the out the outline of them is clear so i just thought it looked really nice if there was just a few specks of glitter just poking through i didn't want it to be a full-on glitter though because the whole, the whole point of these nails was those flower foils were like the center of attention sort of thing and i just thought if i put too much glitter underneath you can see too much of it it might be a bit overpowering so i just put a little wash of the pink which is blush and then the glitter over the top i'll be doing the same thing for the index finger this one is going to be a glitter fade so we're just popping the color on and then popping a bit of the premix glitter on the tip and then just blending it backwards fine fine finally what well, i was going to say finally <laughs> finally blending it backwards i don't know why we're waiting for that for so long but yeah um i'm just popping it on the tip and then making sure that the bulk of well not the bulk but like the main amount of glitter like that's nice and opaque is at the free edge the very very tip and then gets less opaque as it goes down the nail I'm sure you all know what a fade is. I don't know why I went into so much detail about that. So I'm just popping my clear over the top now because obviously this is going to protect that design when it comes to filing. And it is also the strength of the nail. So everything that I do with pre glitters and coloured acrylics is super, super thin. And then I build my structure with my clear capping layer. Because colour powders, majority of the time, are not strength powders. Sometimes they are, but even if they are, I usually just use clear anyway. Because, well, I usually have bigger tubs of clear, to be honest. And, yeah, I'd rather not use loads and loads of colour if I don't need to. So I'm just doing that for all of the nails. And then I'll be able to file them. Super, super quick and easy design this time. My mum made my life easy. <laughs> which is not very often, so I need to make the most of these times. I was going to say, like, oh, do you do something more tr tricky? And I was like, well, no, why would you do that? <laughs> so we really, we both really, really love these nails anyway. I think the a bit of inspiration came from my nails. I've got some flowers on mine and foils at the moment. 
and it's super super effective so I was really happy that my mum wanted flowers so as soon as she mentioned flowers I was like right let's get the foils out I'm not painting these bad boys I'm not gonna put some foil on um anyway back to the nails I'm just capping still um I don't know why I left in like every single nail instead of just cropping some out but there you go it's a quick enough video anyway considering it's a full set so I can't really complain at myself too much <laughs> So once I have finished capping, I don't think I did to show you the thumb, I'm then just going to go in quickly with my sanding bands. Um, I used 240 grit in this one, mainly because I don't want to really toot my own horn, but I've got the application quite smooth on this set. I don't always, so sometimes I do go in with the 180, but I didn't need to with this set because it was pretty smooth. Um, so then I'm just going in with my hand file just to refine the shape and make sure we haven't got any loose bits and bobs hanging off the nails underneath. And then I will wipe over with acetone because it removes all of the scratches on the surface of the nail and makes it really, really beautiful when you top coat because there's no scratches and it's all very clear instead of a bit cloudy. So I'm going in with this foil. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just from Amazon. It was in a set of about 70, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just beautiful foil. So we went for that one. I did have a lot of like flowery ones. We wasn't sure which ones to choose, but we were both really glad we'd go, gone with those ones. And the pinks that we used in this set were just a brilliant match as well. So that was really good. So I'm just popping um, tack free top coat on the pinky, the middle finger and the thumb. And then for the ring finger and the index finger that are going to have the foils on, I'm just applying a nice layer of foil me. If you've seen any of my videos before, the chances of foil me being in it are very high because I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, it just makes foil application so, so much easier. Um, so yeah, I'm just popping that on those nails because they're the only ones that are going to have foil on. Then once I've done that, I will cure for 60 seconds. So those three nails will be perfectly top coated and finished and then these two will be ready for foil. So when they come out of the lamp, I'm just placing on the foil whereabouts I want the flowers. We'd already decided to use these flowers of this part of the foil on this nail. And then there's a little cluster just to the right of it at the top that we're going to pop on the index finger. So here I'm just making sure that we don't have any creases. And if we do, I just slightly lift the foil and then pop it back down where the crease was to make sure it's not there anymore and you fill the gap. This foil makes this foil gel makes foil application so easy. Honestly, you don't really have to put that much effort in. It's absolutely brilliant. The main reason I went so overboard with this one is because obviously it's delicate. Like there's little tiny details to this foil that I wanted to be definitely stuck down. So I was a bit overboard, but <laughs> you don't really need to press it. But much. if you have a look, everything turned out perfect. So all that's left to do is top coat those. If you find that your foils are not lasting or they're chipping at the free edge and stuff like that. It's always a good idea to base coat and then top coat or do a tacky top coat and then a tack free top coat on top. Um, or if you use Magpie, you could give me strength in clear and then top coat that just to give a little added extra layer to make sure it's all sealed. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back really, really soon. Thank you again and yeah, take care. Bye.